hello dears welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you that how we are going to use text with adobe illustrator so when you open your adobe illustrator in this toolbar you can find text over here so we already did this type on path tool and also this vertical type tool but we are going to use this type tool because we have a lot of things on the top here we have this character so when you're going to type anything like uh, let me type hello world so this is our design and we want to the, uh, design this text so how we can apply uh, because it's a text so uh, we can change this to uh, design we can apply colors so now if I click on the color switch if I select a color for this so now color is going to apply over here and also if I want to add a stroke so I'm going to increase the size first then I'm going to select a color for this so now when I want to add this um, a text to uh, this is going to be added so how we can convert this to a design so we can apply more things like if I select this text and go to color switch and I click on the gradients so you can see now the color is gradient but it doesn't show gradient colors on the text so now if I move this uh, as to the back of this stroke as a stroke for the, the this text so also you can't see anything uh, for uh, this uh, text as a gradient color so how we can apply a gradient colors to our text we need to right click and we need to create outline so when we create outline the text is convert to a path so when we click here so now this is um, converted to a path so now i can click my direct selection tool so i can select this part of uh, this uh, text and I can move it anywhere I want so now this is a path so now if I going to select everything if I click on the color switch and click on gradients so now you can see the gradient colors now apply on the this uh, design so now it's converted to a design so let me control Z and let me uh, make it as a simple text so now we are going to decrease the stroke as well so now when you select this text this uh, characters or this font um, and also the font style and also the font size is going to show up here and also you're going to see this paragraph so the paragraph I don't want to uh, uh, say anything about the paragraph that how we can use this in this video but i'm later on i will uh, make another video on paragraph that how we can use this paragraph so we are going to click on the character so now also this little uh, window or character that we clicked so now it show up all the settings for your text so now i can change a uh, font like i can select a free font so this rubric is a free font so I'm going to select this one and also you can select a font style like light or you can select any kind of fonts that's available with uh, the font you're going to select so now at this um, uh, font size uh, at this little window here you can see we have this font size so if I increase this so you can see the size is going to increase and also you can see this uh, leading is going to increase as well so if i select the this leading like 72 it doesn't actually take effect on my text so if i um, start uh, increasing this number so the size is going to increase so what if i give a number more than the 527 that uh, we have right now for this uh, text so now I'm going to type 700 so now you can see this is um, not showing anything because if we uh, increase this size 
to uh, something like this it's not going to increase because this is only for the uh, leading um, uh, text so where we our leading text our leading text is start from this edge so now let me increase decrease the size of this text so I can show you the other uh, options with the text and now what we have here is that uh, we can set the uh, 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 linting between the uh, text that we have here you can see it says that set the gaining between two characters mm -hmm. so now if I select this you can because it's put on auto so if I click optical so you can see the space between the words and your text is going to set at here so if I click metrics so you can see the metrics going to show up here so if I click auto so automatically when you're going to type it's going to uh, take the a specific space between the uh, sentence and also the text that you write over here so let me increase the space manually so if I, um, I uh, click here you can see the spaces going to add between each uh, part of uh, your text between this H and E between this E and L between this L and O between this W and O and also O and W which we already add a space between them so now if I increase this number so you can see the spaces going to show up so sometimes uh, when you write something inside Adobe Illustrator so if you want to fit uh, two text so this is a good technique to use to fit the, your first text with second text so here also we have this vertical scale so now if I uh, put my cursor and I'm not going to use this uh, little arrow keys to click over it I'm going to use my arrow keys so now you can see it's going to increase the high of the your text so now if I increase this you can see now it's going um, up the, and if I want to bring it down so we are going to press the arrow keys so now you can see the whole sentence or my text is now is going to be uh, the length is actually uh, is going to be uh, so down so now if I want to bring it back so I'm going to use my arrow keys and now we have uh, this uh, text which is uh, for horizontal scale so now if I put my cursor and I'm going to use a rookies you can see horizontally is going to uh, increase the size for, uh, it means that by length it's going to add uh, by length it's going to move a text and also let me say this that we can also use the selection tool to move this something like this place we can move it or we can move it to the left or we can move it to the up or uh, we can move it uh, back again to the same position that we move so also we can use this direct selection tool to move our text and now what we have here is that uh, set the baseline shift so if I, we move this you can see the baseline shift means that it's going to shift your whole text from one location or one, from one point to another point. So here if I move this, you can see that this moving um, on the artboard is changing the location. So here we have this character rotation. So if you want to add a character rotation to your text, you can also yeah uh, let me show you but before using this let me show you that we have the default like minus uh, minus 6 minus 12 so if you are going upper uh, on the plus it mean your plus your uh, plusing 220 but if you want to minus this you can click on minus or you can use arrow keys to go minus on uh, this text as well so here i'm going to add a rotation so now we are going to use this rotation you can see when I'm increasing this rotation the text is actually rotating each uh, part of uh, the words that's using with this hello world with this 
uh, whole uh, sentence you can say uh, is uh, going to rotate so if i increase this so you can see the uh, my uh, characters on this sentences also moving so you can see that i can move it 180 and i can select from here as well so if i click uh, select click or select this zero then they're going to put it on the same location that it was so this is how we can use uh, these uh, feature and options with the text so now what we have here is all a cap so if i select this so you can see all the ca all the letters going to be capital so if i select this one you can see the leading uh, character is going to be um, the capital but uh, the other uh, words is going to be a uh, small caps so also we have super script so if i select you can see it's going to change up so if we select this one so you can see this is going to be subtract and also if we want to add an underline for this so you can see if we select this is going to add an underline over here so also we can add a line in the middle as well so if we select this one so here you can change the language i'm not going to show you that how to use this language with um, adobe illustrator in this video because i want to use uh, another video to show you how to use this so what we have here snap to uh glip or you can call it clip or you can call it glyp so i i'm calling this a symbol so how we can find this glip here you can set the baseline for that glip uh, and you can set the x height and by default this glip bounce is going to show you that it's going to snap to top bottom left right bounce of glip while throwing moving or scaling and also we have this approximate guide approximity uh, guide snap to guys generated near to baseline x high and delay bound while drawing moving or scaling so how we can find this uh, at, uh, as i said that i can i'm i i'm personally call this a uh, uh, symbol maybe you use the microsoft word we have a sample thing that we can add sample to our adobe illustrator the same thing is going to show up here so how we can find that we go to type and uh, we are going to click on this left and uh, i don't know how to pronounce it but uh, you can call it i call this a symbol a panel so i'm going to select the symbol if i select a specific character or word so here you can see when i'm going to select this one it's going to show me all the available w for this so if i want to add a something from this panel so i'm going to double click so it's going to be added here so this is a sample uh, panel so we can add more samples like i can add this add button add um, word and also i can add more things like this uh, double f so this is how you are using this if you require um, but make sure you select the found that is available for free uh, because when you're going to select a found is going to show up uh, according to the founds is going to show up here so if i change the found to something like let me uh, change it from here because at this point i can only i can change that as well but i can uh, but um, most of the time you're going to uh use uh, or change found from um, the top from here so if I, if you uh, change it from here you can select the style so now according to your founds it's going to show up some more like this you can see according to the found that i'm selecting it's going to change up so this is how we use the text with adobe illustrator hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and you learn something and hope it really help you in your graphic designing career so if you uh, think this video is really helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so you're going to be notified about our future videos and uploads so see you guys until next video